How's it going guys? As you can see, I'm back with another estate sale video. I uh, went to an estate sale this morning. I got there about an hour and uh, 15, hour and 20 minutes early because they're only allowing the first 25 people in. Uh, even though I got there that early, uh, I was still like number 10 in line. Uh, based on the pictures, I could tell there were some uh, 80s toys I saw uh, this sitting on a table, the, the Ewok play set, and then I saw some G.I. Joe stuff. Based on the people online, some I'd never seen before, they were older, a lot of, uh, I think there's like eight women in front of me. They looked to be in their 50s and 60s, so I didn't think they would actually go for the toys. Uh, but sure enough, uh, I could tell the toys were in an upstairs bedroom and almost... Uh, a majority of the people in front of me went straight to that room and started grabbing toys. I still think I got the best of the deal, uh, best of the toys there. There was a lot of uh, GI Joe vehicles that were incomplete and parts pieces. They were they were grabbing those, and I ended up grabbing the Star Wars stuff and one GI Joe box. And this box here, I was hoping would be full of uh, extra parts and accessories. So I uh, ended up getting all this stuff, and I guess I'll just dive into it here. So I ended up grabbing this, uh, the Empire Strikes Back uh, Rebel Transport ship. As you can see, it is really dirty. It is missing uh, pieces to it, so it should have a cover up here. Uh, but it does have the original box with it, and I end up paying uh, $20 for that. But you can see what this sold for back in like 19, uh, in the early 80s, uh, sold for $24.99. So obviously, if this person would have kept this and never opened it, you know, this would probably be a thousand dollar piece. So have that, and then have uh, this GI Joe Cobra bug with the box. Again, it's not gonna be complete. Uh, almost all the toys there were dirty and incomplete. So just uh, parts and pieces. And again, I paid uh, $20 for that. But one of the best deals was uh, this entire box. So the had the box and then with the, the Ewok uh, play set and the, the battle wagon, uh, was $15 for all of it. So I was hoping there might be some more uh, Star Wars accessories in there, but there's only a couple. But still got the uh, Ewok playset. I don't have this playset either. Uh, again, it is not complete. It is missing quite a few pieces to it. But uh, I paid next to nothing for it. And then the uh, Battle Wagon. This is also a pretty desirable, uncommon piece. Again, it's missing a lot of the pieces to it. It's missing the sides. There should be like a Mastodon skull on top. Um, it does have this, this cage is pretty uncommon. This is probably like a $40 piece right there. So got that. And then uh, most of the accessories in here are for GI Joe type stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, this was also in there. Uh, again, it needs to be complete, uh, cleaned. It's a like micro machine type uh, Hoth playset. So it has the uh, metal, metal uh, little die cast figures that go with that. And then a job of the hut needs to be clean. So that was also in the box. 
but I'll have to go through this box. Uh, there could still could be some pretty valuable uh, GI Joe accessories in here. As you can see, it is uh, really filthy. All these toys are really dirty. So I'll have to go through all these and see what they go to. But uh, from what I can tell, I don't see any more Star Wars type stuff. But again, I'll have to check just to make sure. And then on a table, they had some uh, proof sets. A majority of them were uh, like from the 80s. Uh, so they were not silver, uh, just the clad proof sets. But on the very bottom of all the proof sets, I came across these. Uh, these were like, uh, all the proof sets were $10 a piece. So I ended up getting uh, four 1963 proof sets, and they're all sealed still. So I have four 63s, uh, four 62s, and four 64s. Again, uh, $10 a piece, and they are sealed. It looks like they sell for around uh, 30 bucks a piece or so, 25 to 30 range. So a great deal on those. Like I said, I paid 10 bucks a piece for that. And then in the basement, I ended up getting some used uh, road bike parts. So I have a new uh, Liberty or Liberator uh, seat. Then have a leather one made by Leper or Leaper. It's a Voyager model, uh, made in Italy, I think. And I saw one, there's none on eBay currently. I saw one, uh, these retailed new for like $149. So uh, that should be a good sale, seller. And then a, a Shimano crank for a road bike with a stem. So I paid uh, $25 for that box. So uh, that's gonna be a good flip also. So yeah, these are the pickups uh, from the, the estate sale this morning. Again, the Ewok stuff and the transporter will go in my personal collection. And uh, I think just this box over here of just accessories, parts and pieces, I should easily make all my money back uh, for the toys themselves. And then uh, have some silver coins there too. So I'm going to another uh, estate sale tomorrow I'll bring you guys along if I find anything good, and I'll see you next time.